Hello everyone, uh, this is Anish Anand and I am based in India. Uh, well, this course is for a peer review assignment for Coursera's Intro to Music Production course uh, in association with the Berkeley College of Music, Boston, USA. Uh, in this video, I will be teaching you how to add a software instrument, record MIDI and quantize the MIDI data in Ableton Live version 9 on your Mac and PC. So now let's start our project with adding a simple MIDI drum pattern. We're going to start it by selecting a MIDI track on which we'll be dropping our drum kit onto. I just selected MIDI 1 and if you see this block of MIDI 1 is highlighted that tells us that we have selected MIDI 1. Next from the browser menu we will select drums and in the drums menu we will go on to drum hits. You can listen to all the sounds of this different pre-built drum kits in the preview menu. For now we will use this 808 kick. We will drag this kit and drop it onto our MIDI 1. If you see here, it's record enabled automatically. And here in the details view we have our drum kit device. Most drum kits are loaded with pre-sounds and here we have 16 sounds already loaded. Click on the triangle icon to hear the sample sounds that we have in this drum kit. Now for those using an external MIDI synth, Press any note on your keyboard and notice a small yellow block lights up every time you press up a key. These blocks tell you on what octave you are in. In order to use the notes in the drum kit, you need to transpose octave. So use your octave down or octave up key on an external synth. For those who does not have any external synth can always use the keyboard present on your Mac or PC that starts from the key A to key L. Press any key from A to K and see in what octave you are in. You can also transpose your octave by using Z and X on your keyboard. Z is to transpose down and Y is to transpose up. So now we're gonna create a clip. These empty rectangles are called clips in Ableton Live. If you see this circle, this indicates that this clip is ready to record MIDI. If I unarm them by clicking this record button on the bottom of the track, then you will see that circle icon on the clip becomes square. That means they are not ready to record. Now to record a clip again, press record button that is here at the bottom and click the clip onto which you want to record your drum pattern. To start recording the MIDI, first I'll click on our metronome in this box here. Press the space bar to start. And now we can hear our tick sound of our metronome. This would help us as a guide as on where we have to record our notes or samples. So what we're hearing is the metronome counting the measures. The high pitch note represents the starting of the measure. Click the record clip button. The beat I want. As soon as I get my required pattern, press this triangle button again to stop the recording. So here is our kick pattern and we also have some empty spaces left in the starting and at the end. This is of no use at all. So let us adjust our start and stop markers to delete these kind of unuseful spaces. I would drag my markers on the whole numbers which is very important. Whole numbers represents the beginning of the measures or the downbeat. Now if you look closely at our kick notes, they are not properly snapped to the grid that I want it to be. I can always move all the notes manually to adjust them according to the grid or the other way to this is to quantize them. I'm just gonna select all the notes that I created and then I'll go to my edit drop down menu and select quantize. You can also quantize by selecting all the notes and pressing command U on your Mac or control U on PC. I'm sure you might be having more ideas that has to be flushed out, isn't it? Yeah, so be creative, add as many MIDI tracks you want, add ideas and keep on experimenting things. And as if for now, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and I will see you next time. Till then, happy music making.